Today, we're gonna make beef stew in my favorite cooking tool. The pressure cooker. Let's get started. First things first, we gotta get the meat. And don't do the amateur move by buying pre-cube stew meat. You have no idea what kind of cuts are in there. Instead, buy the piece of meat and cube it yourself. I highly recommend Chuck. It has a good amount of connective tissue, and most importantly, marbling. Now, take your hunk of meat, and cut it up into bite-sized cubes. Now then, it's time for cooking. Get yourself a pressure cooker, link in the description by the way, and next to it, put a big metal bowl. Oh, and since searing meat creates a lot of smoke, turn on your hood. Set the pressure cooker over high heat. Talking about two teaspoons of grapeseed oil. Then add our meat in batches. The meat's gonna stick a bit, that's fine. And once the meat's all seared, put it in our big metal bowl. Once everything's nice and seared, add two tablespoons of cornstarch to our bowl and give everything a nice toss. Okay, once the meat's all nice and coated with cornstarch, let's get back to the pressure cooker. Set it over medium heat, add in one onion chopped and four cloves of garlic sliced. Cook until the onions soften up a bit. Once the onions soften up, add in three carrots diced. And let's deglaze with two cups of beef broth. Then add one 16 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Then add four red potatoes cubed. I chose red potatoes because due to their high wax cotton, they keep their shape while cooking. Then add two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, one teaspoon of freshly chopped thyme, and just a quick dash of cayenne pepper. Add our meat back into the pot. Slap on the lid. Oh, and uh, if you can, set it to 10 bars of pressure. Now, while the thing comes up to pressure, some of you might be wondering, why does food cook faster in a pressure cooker? Well, the thing is, hey, sea sauce, Michael Avenatti is going to prison. When we're under pressure, we tend to work very, very fast. And the same goes for our food. When you use a pressure cooker, everything inside it comes under pressure. As a result, the temperature rises from 212 to 285 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, the chemical process of tenderizing your meat happens much faster. Tons of meat have connective tissue called collagen. When introduced to heat and moisture over a period of time, it converts to gelatin. And that is what makes meats tender. Think of the tenderization process as this styrofoam cup of instant ramen. Right now, it's tough and inedible. But introduce it to moisture and heat, and it gradually softens up over time. We are all under pressure in our modern day world. And we learn to gel out when the heat is on. We can survive anything just like these noodles. And as always, okay, 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 you made your point. Anyway, once it does come up to pressure, set the heat down to medium low and let it cook for 25 to 30 minutes. Under pressure. Okay, once the three minutes are up, release the pressure. It's gonna take a few minutes, don't worry. And just like that, you have nice tender beef stew in a fraction of the time. And before you go out and make this for yourself, I highly recommend ditching your old pressure cooker in exchange for a new one. Simply put, if you're not careful, those pressure cookers can turn into bombs. And if your skin has a certain percentage of melanin in it, it ain't gonna look good on you or your people. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CR Day, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and, uh, don't worry, my Twitter and Instagram are not clogged up with politics, so you can definitely follow me and, uh, you did what? My Twitter and Instagram are mostly not clogged up with politics.